How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be going over the quick win formula and for those of you that don't want the whole explanation I'm going to give you the equation first. The equation is right here wind factor times range factor equals the wind correction in mils. So the wind factor is going to be the wind speed in miles per hour divided by the constant and different bullets have different constants. For on this example, we are using the 308 Winchester, the 300 Win Mag, and 5.56. The constants are 4, 5, and 3, respectively. And the range factor uh, is dependent on the range. It could be yards or meters, it's roughly the same. So, for example, at 100 yards, we're going to use a range factor of 0.1. At 500, we're going to use 0 0.5. At 1,000, we're going to use 1.1. And I'll kind of go over why we use these different factors. Anyways, if you guys just want the equation again, it's wind factor, which is wind speed divided by the constant, multiplied by the range factor. And that's going to give you the correction in mils. So for example, we have a 308 Winchester at 500 meters. The wind's at 10 miles per hour. So we're going to do 10 miles per hour divided by the 4, which is our constant in this case because we're shooting a 308. I'm going to multiply that by the factor of 0 0.5 and we're going to get 1.25 mils. And if we go over to JBN, JBM Ballistics, right now I put in a 308. I did a 150 grain full metal jacket. The ballistic coefficient is close to 0.4, it is 0.398. And you can see down here at 500 yards, the wind correction is going to be 1.2. So that's all you really need, but stick around if you want to know more about how this equation works. So in a lot of physics and mathematics, especially in physics, we start off with an answer and we come up with an equation that will support the answer. And in engineering, we come up with um, different factors or constants, different variables that we put in front of an equation, and it's going to tell us the, it can be tell us the trajectory of the bullet, how fast something's going, acceleration, etc. And we use these factors to better replicate a perfect model in different situations. So the first reasoning um, that we're going to do in this perfect world example is we're going to make a standard. Now this standard, if we go here to Wikipedia, I know that's not a credible source. However, if we type in ballistic coefficient, let's see what it comes up with. You're going to find out that there's a lot of math inside. So then we got physics here, the ballistics, and all these different equations to better simulate what the bullet's going to do in, in the, the range that you're trying to shoot in. We got some background here. We got, you know, good old Galileo. We got Euler. Um, anyways, they tried to come up with the best formula for trajectory. But we can skip all that and just understand the diff uh, different mathematical models. So this picture here shows the G1 shape of a standard projectile. Now we're going to use this standard in our perfect model. Okay, down here we got the G7 um, that re better replicates the modern bullet. However, in this example, we're going to use the G1. So going back to the perfect world, if we have this standard, and we're going to call this standard having a ballistic coefficient of one, and anything that's less than the perfect model, let's say the 308, I like to shoot the 178 grain ELDMs. I believe it has a coefficient of 0.534, don't quote me on that, but 
it is less than 1 because it's not perfect. So if we were to shoot this perfect projectile at a thousand meters and we found out that with a constant 10 mile per hour wind the entire way the bullet impacted one meter to the left or right depending on the uh, direction of the wind and so it deflected one meter or if you guys know what Miller ratings are then you'll know that one meter at a thousand uh, meters is one mil. Similarly, at 500 yards, this perfect projectile veered off to the left or right uh, 0.5 meters or 0.5 mils. And I have here a chart that explains all this. So we got a 10 mile per hour wind coming from our right to left. And we shoot, boom, at 1,000 meters. We had a point of impact of one meter. So now we know that in this perfect world, uh, something with 10 miles per hour, let me get this cursor working. Oh, did not want us right there. Anyways, so we got 10 miles per hour multiplied by our perfect, uh, sorry, range factor. We want something over, so we got 10 miles per hour. Let me actually back that out. Let me fix this. There we go. So we got 10 miles per hour. And we got to multiply it by something, right? And it equals 1 mil of correction. So that's how the equation starts. We already have our answer. That's what we're trying to get. And we have 10 miles per hour, let me write that better, 10 miles per hour, multiplied by something equals one mil. Well, we can also put something like one meter here, right? Impacted one meter, so left to right. And then we can do something like this. And then if we have a standard, so 10 divided by what? Multiplied by 1 is 1. Obviously, it's going to be 10, right? So 10 divided by 10 multiplied by 1 equals 1 mil of correction, or 1 meter of correction at 1,000. So this, so if this one here, we say is meter, right? 1 meter at 1,000. The thing that we multiplied by has to also be at a thousand meters. Okay, so there needs to be a correlation between there. All right, so now that that makes sense, we got 10 mile per hour divided by 10 multiplied by one at a thousand meters equals one meter at a thousand meters. So we have a cor correlation here. Now, what do we do with the denominator? That's an interesting question. So this is going to be the perfect bullet that we were talking about. Excuse my handwriting. Brand new to this drawing tablet. This perfect bullet and anything, um, anything subpar to this perfect bullet is going to be a number less than 10. And that's where ballistic coefficient comes in. So in this example, we are going to multiply the coefficient of the bullet that we're utilizing by 10. Okay. And for example, a ballistic coefficient of uh, 0. Point, what was the example? 398, I believe, for a full metal jacket, 308. Multiplied by 10 is going to give me a ballistic coefficient, or sorry, the denominator of 3.98. All right, so if we come here, then we do 10 divided by 4 multiplied by, um, let's say we, we are still shooting at a thousand, and we'll do, let's say, if 
500. So when we do 500, our range factor is going to be 0 0.5. And the reason why we're still using the range factor of 0 0.5 is because this, this in front of it, right, is going to affect the perfect bullet, okay? Per what the perfect bullet would do at 500 yards, or we'll say 500 meters for this example, all right? So the perfect bullet will deflect by uh, 0 0.5 meters at 500 meters, okay? So this is all still uh, the, using the example of the perfect bullet. Now the coefficient has to be something um, subpar from the perfect model. And this perfect right here, just so I could show you guys what I'm doing. All right, pretty easy. Just gonna be uh, 2.5, right? So what that means is this subpar bullet is worse than the perfect model, because the perfect model, this becomes one, right? And now it became 2.5. It's two and a half times worse than the perfect ideal model, okay? So then we go back to our calculator and we can do the 2.5 multiplied by 0 0.5, we want to find that it's 1.25 mils. 1.25 mils. All right. Because in the perfect world, we would have just done 10 multiply, uh, divided by 10, 10 miles per hour, divided by the perfect bullet coefficient. So that's supposed to be a plus uh, multiply by 0 0.5 because that's what we would expect it to be 0 0.5 mils so you can see that the new bullet that we did is 2.5 times worse right than the ideal model and that's key and let's go over to JBM ballistics Again, we got so about 0 0.4, 150 gram full metal jacket at 500, and this one is yards, but we can do meters. It's roughly 1.2 mils of correction. Boom, just like what we calculated. Now we can do this for any uh, bullet out there, and the formula will generally follow. The only way the follow the rain sorry the only way the equation deviates is when the ballistic coefficient is not the same throughout its trajectory and it's not going to be the same throughout the trajectory of the bullet because the bullet has wind resistant and the wind actually slows down the bullet and when the bullet is slowing down it's not going to have the same ballistic coefficient as if it was just fired out of the barrel so that would explain why the range factors goes from 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and that 600 jumps to 0 0.7. Now, this here is pretty mm, generic, and you can fine tune this yourself depending on the caliber that you shoot. Let's uh, say you're shooting a 338 or a 408 Shytac. Um, I don't know, really act uh, really fast, 50 BMG. This might just be you know, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0.91. All right, so you can actually fine tune that to your needs. But let's say we have a 10 mile per hour wind coming from our right to left, and then our BC for the 178 grain. ELDM is, I want to say it's 0 0.534, something like that. Okay, so we're going to multiply that coefficient by 10, and we're going to get 
5.34. So 5.34. So you can almost tell that this ballistic coefficient is about the half the performance of the ideal model. So because it's in the denominator, we're going to know that the answer is going to be two times as worse as the, the perfect model, right? And let's shoot this at, mm, let's do 600, 600 meter, oh, why did I do that? 600 meters, okay? So our range factor at 600, it's going to be, I believe it was 0 0.7, yep. So range factor is going to be 0 0.7 equals, let's put that in our calculator. We got 10 divided by 5.34, oh, 5.34, and multiply that. Did I not clear it all? Let's see. 5.34 multiply that by 0.7, we're going to get a deflection of 1.3 mils of correction. Okay, let's check out JBM ballistics, if I can find the tab. There we go. Um, uh, let's see, come up here, we got a ballistic coefficient of G1, 0.547, so that's 547, I got that wrong, and let's see if we're close though, we got wind of 10 mile per hour at 600, we have Grand Spanking 1.2, so we said 1.3, and the calculus has 1.2, so we're very close. And it's probably because I messed up the ballistic coefficient. Kind of just guess this one here. Anyways, I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments below. Have a fun day of shooting. Bye.